G'day, fellas. Welcome to a team game. It's a 3v3. I'm on the Chinese. I've, I'm with Litikor, with Nikov, Onlu, Adni, and Ashley Lin. I'm going to be playing some Chinese. I've got the beautiful green color, and doesn't it just look absolutely awesome? A little bit of command lag right there. I'm noticing, but that is all right. That's all part of the game. So, we're going to be going for a crazy artillery strategy this game. I'm going to be going absolutely ham. Now, keep in mind, I am actually... Hold on, that's not going the right spot. That's the right spot. Uh, so, keep in mind that I am... Uh, I'm on the flank. And being on the flank means that you're probably going to get hit by your enemy. Now, typically on the flank in Age of Empires 2, you go for archers. I don't know if that's necessarily the case in Age of Empires 4. So, we'll, we'll have to watch it. We'll have to see. Uh, but uh, I'm probably just going to be putting down my defensive landmark. I've got a gold over here, so normally you want to put your defensive landmark on your gold so you can't get off it, but I think I might go for, like, my berries out here. I think that might make a bit more sense, just because it's towards the front of the base. But we'll see how we go. So I'm, I'm going to be going for, like, a fast castle build order, but at the same time, I'm going to be going, like, very eco-heavy with my fast castle, so it's going to be, like, a 2TC fast castle. I don't know if that... Is that even legal? I don't know. We're going to find out. But um, for anybody wondering, yes, I'm, I'm currently playing it when uh, when you guys don't have access to it. So uh, you'll probably be watching this back on YouTube. So I'm not on Twitch right now. This is this is all exclusive YouTube content. And uh, and you, you might have access to the game yourself or it could be coming out in a couple of days. I'm not exactly sure when you'll be seeing this video. But this is going to be the release version of the game. So everything that you see in this game, you're going to be able to do. You're going to be able to access and... And sort of play around with the exact same thing. So if you like this build order, make sure you make sure you write it down. That sort of thing. All right, doing a little. That's what I call the Drongo drop right there. Run the run the sheep underneath the uh, the town center right here at the at the front, just like that. Make sure you kill all the sheep as well. Really important to do. You got to slay those sheep, slaughter them. All right, so we're going to be going for an early uh, an early town center. So we're going to open with two TCs. Obviously, pick up all of our little sheep as well. Um, so we might send these guys. Let's uh, let's send you. You're gonna go make a lumber camp out over here, and we're gonna keep training our villagers up. We picked up lots of sheep in the early game. I do like this. Typically, it is a little bit harder. Let's move. We'll move these two out now. All right, there we go. Now let's pull these guys in. All right, and we're going to drop down that Barbican of the Sun. I think we might just go here. It seems like, it seems like a pretty decent spot. All right, so now we can begin moving our villagers out over onto the tree line. We've got four on food. That should be enough for now. I don't think we need to, to worry any more than that. Um, and then, so these guys are going to come over onto... Oh, no. Oh, that's a mining camp. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm doing it live, guys. I'm doing, <laughs> I'm doing this live. These guys were meant to... Oh, oh, that's my ally under attack. I'm like wondering why is it why is it warning me? I can't believe I put a mining camp there. Can you guys see that? Look at now these guys have to long distance mine. Oh god, that's terrible. I, I'm just gonna delete that right now because that was a mistake. Oh, they were bringing it to that mining camp as well. Oh my lord. All right, I hope you guys are enjoying this one because uh, this is a bit a bit of a yikes. Let's say that much. Now I've got two villages out on building this Barbican of the Sun, but to be honest, I really didn't need that. I think I I needed one at most. Um, I don't think you can actually build more, or you, you can't build it unless you've got, uh, villages that are on it, so, unfortunately, it is just gonna be one, but, alright, let's maybe move out for a bit of a scout, you can see that we are up quite early here, 356, uh, 356, did I say 346, uh, it's a little bit too early though, um, I'm just gonna move these villages back over here. This, this build order is all over the place. All right, if you're if you're writing this down, don't write it down. Don't write it down. It's <laughs> put your pen away. Just just in, enjoy this one because I tell you what, it's uh, it, it, <laughs> I can't believe we put down a mining camp, dude. Oh man, if you're watching this for the first time, if this is the first time you've you've watched Nozzy Drongo video, I do apologize. <laughs> it's, it's, we're not always this terrible. We're not always this bad. Uh, so my focus this game, as I mentioned earlier, it's always it's just going to be about securing. Uh, gold, because I'm going to be really after all of those important artillery pieces, you know, building up the exodia of artillery, as I like to call it. When you can get those bombards compared with the, like, the springholds and get a couple of, uh, get a couple of nest of bees in there. 
that's that's when it really gets fun. Now, we've got to be careful of Nikov. We're up against Nikov. For anybody who doesn't know Nikov, Nikov actually went to the Red Bull Wallalol 5, which is an Age of Empires 2 tournament. Uh, he placed... I'm not sure exactly where he placed. I think he placed in, like, the top 10. Uh, he did really, really well. That was, like, $100,000 tournament. Uh, and he, he took part in it. So we've got to be real careful of that guy. Let's say that much. So now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be moving these guys off stone when this hits 1,200. So going to be making sure I watch it. Three, two, one, go. And get them to cash in. So now we've got 300 stone exactly. We've got 400 wood. And so now we can move these guys over. Our scouts, well, the enemy scout rather is... Where is that hunt? Oh my god. Oh, he, he killed the hunts. Oh, because he's uh, he must be Rus or something. All right, I think we just put ours here. Hopefully he doesn't come and steal that. Oh, it's the Khan. All right, we should go. We're going to go help him out. Uh, I'm just going to walk this guy in. Oh, that's a big walk. I don't know if he's going to make it. We'll see how he goes. i got to be real careful about putting lumber camps and stuff down. All right, and now we're going to go back out to gold. Alright. So we're gonna go chase him off. He has killed a lot of hunts. That must be... Uh, they must have a Rus player. Uh, oh no, we, we've got a Rus... Oh, we got two Rus players. I didn't even realize. No wonder we've got no hunts. Uh, that makes a lot more sense. Alright, so that guy is gonna go out there too. Uh, so those guys are going to food. Alright, they're all reaching the, the fortress age, or the, the, rather the feudal age. Uh, and so we're gonna chase Ashley's Khan away. So hopefully she'll... She won't be bothering us anymore, at least bothering our teammates anymore. But, uh, very nice of our teammates to do that. Now, the question is whether we get a wheelbarrow or not. And finally, our sheep came in. Do you guys see that? Our little sheep finally came in. Uh, we can go for, like, survival techniques, actually. This probably isn't a terrible idea. Uh, but I think we're gonna need to get a couple more villagers over onto... Uh, over onto gold. Uh, I'm gonna need to scout out exactly who I've got on my side. It looks like I've got Ornlu. You can see Nikov's in the middle, so he, he's spawned in the pocket. So I'm going to check out Ornlu, have a look what see if he's playing. Ornlu is playing the Abbasid Dynasty, so we'll have to pay attention and see exactly what he's planning to do. But for me, the idea is all about making sure that I've got a big economy, that I'm playing relatively safe. And it looks like at the moment, I, th I think I'm playing relatively safe. I'm just going to make sure that uh, all these little sheep are dying. you got to make sure that you kill these sheep, because by killing these sheep... What it does is it means that your villagers aren't going to be having a difficult time a little bit later in the game when they all try and recalibrate. You know, when that sheep runs out, it's going to enable you to sort of get in there. Ooh, you found some nice more, more sheep down here. Don't mind if I do. Uh, but you can see the issue now is that uh, our economy is starting, I wouldn't necessarily say to lag behind, uh, but uh, that, that sound that you, uh, you just heard, that's normally the sound that it makes when... Uh, when you're under attack, so it, it always triggers me when I hear that. But we can actually see that uh, it looks like uh, Lidacor has got a little bit of a raid over here with some early knights. Um, let's go spot exactly what our opponent is doing. Ornlu, see what he's up to. Uh, let's get one of these guys here as well. All right, looks like he's going double archery range. Uh, so we'll have to pay attention. A couple of light horsemen here from Nikov as well, chasing enemy, enemy, uh, or rather our, our units back. And I think at the moment, I'm, I'm sort of just, you know, I'm safe, I'm minding my own business. I'm not really participating, not really helping out the team. That's okay, that's alright. You know, they're doing fine. Litacor's doing his own thing over here. He's got early knights over on the, the, the Gur. I think it's pronounced Gur, it could be Jur. I'm not sure exactly. And you can spot some Nikov uh, cavalry there. The main thing that concerns me is that if Nikov comes in uh, to here, I might just put that up right now. We'll just do it with one villager. Uh... Just because if he does come in, it's going to be a bit difficult for me because I'm not going to have any gold. So at the moment, I'm going for my dynasty. So the primary reason behind getting the Imperial Academy here is just so that I can... Uh, it's, it's essentially adding a third town center here. It's also going to enable me access to the... Uh, that, that's the, the Chinese archer unit. All right, you can see that he's having a good fight. Lytical over here doing a lot of work. How many town centers does Lytical have right now? Lytical's only got one town center. No, no wonder he's doing so well uh, in the early game. Uh, so we're booming. We've got 41 villagers at the moment, so we're not too fussed about things. Uh, we might just kill that. I think we can just kill that right now. Can you guys get in? No, they're not going to get in. That, that was bad. Oh, we got it. We got it. All right. And so with that, uh, we're going to be making 
the all-important. Where is she? Here she is, the astronomical clock tower. So we'll make sure that we put her over there. We'll get one of these guys out as well, an Imperial official. Alright. Our villager takes 11... Oh, 13 seconds. Okay. I was going to say, it looked like it said 11. I must have been looking at the wrong thing. Alright, so our Imperial official is going to come out and she's going to buff this up over here. And so we're just going to go like... It, it's going to be... You guys might think it's pretty funny, but it, it's like... It's a legitimate build. Don't, don't you worry. Don't you worry. What we're doing here, it's legitimate. Still our enemies under attack, but he's going to be fine. Horsemen are, are always going to lose. Uh, so now we've got this this all-important landmark. We can begin looking for... I guess we could probably go out here. Actually, you know what? We're just going to go over onto wood. Alright, so in the meantime... We're going to get... Uh, we're going to get this... So I'm going to pull everybody in off food because we don't need any kind of food right now. Um, we can probably just put that right there. That's fine. Uh, so another bit more of a fight going in, but Adney's running in his spearmen one by one. Got to be careful there, Adney. All right, so we're going to get both of these upgrades now. Uh, we've got lots of people gathering up food. Where? Where? Oh, here. Okay, I'm, I'm wondering where all the food gatherers are. Looks like I've been able to find them. All right, let's move these guys down here as well. All right, they're doing fine. There are a lot of cavalry out right now. I, maybe it's a bad decision for me to go for this. Uh, in the early game. Maybe, do I dare get some Springles out just to start us off with? Maybe that's the right play. Plenty of villagers up here right now. Uh, we might get this town center out over onto here just to sort of make up for it. But you can see how many villagers we've got queued. That's fine. Uh, the main priority for me, for me from here is just to make sure I've got enough resources. All right, and we'll put up that landmark. And now I think it's time uh, we're going to start supervising. All right, there we go. Supervision begins. So what, what's happening when we supervise? When we supervise, it, it's producing significantly faster. So instead of it producing at a, a standard rate, it produces it three times as fast, or, or the equivalent of three times as fast, if I rem remember correctly. Uh, that may not be the case. I think it's 200% that it adds. Uh, so we'll... Uh, I think we'll just make some spring olds initially. We need some houses. Alright, here we go. Uh, so we've got greased axles. So you can see it only takes 20 seconds to research this. Do I dare? I think I do. Let's get that in. Uh, what we can also do here is because we've got so many villagers out here, I'm going to get a an Imperial official and she's going to buff this, this uh, lumber camp up right here. Alright, let's get greased axles. Alright, Ludico are actually doing a pretty decent job right there. It looks like he's... Uh, 2v1-ing. Always a little bit tough when you're, when you're stuck to 2v1. Now, I would like to get this gold upgrade. We might actually go for this, uh, for uh, another Imperial official. Actually, we'll, we might get all four of them out. Alright, let's get out there. Alright, so now our Imperial official is out. So, we're gonna supervise this. And then we're gonna delete this so that they don't drop to that. And that's gonna buff up our our drop-off rate. So instead of it uh, dropping off 12, or instead of it dropping off 10, it's only gonna, it's gonna drop off 12. Alright, and so now, now we're gonna go crazy with this bad boy right here. Uh, but we need to drop a market. That's one of the things. And I just realized because we're in our dynasty, we don't actually need to be making, making houses anymore. Alright, a little bit of a raid up here to the north. Alright, so I think we're definitely going to need uh, a few more... Let's get you out there. Where's our other Imperial official? There she is, coming in now. So we're going to get these guys to supervise. Uh, are they okay up there? I mean, they're fighting. We might. Do we just dare come back over here like that? Alright, I think it's time now. We've got enough... Uh, we've got enough spring olds, nine spring olds. We're going to actually switch it now. We're going to go into the nest of bees, the clockwork nest of bees. So that's what we're going to do right now. We might actually also get this upgrade just here as well. A little bit of a fight. Lidicore is going to be fine with that. So I don't know if we're necessarily memeing here. No, you know what? We're totally memeing here. Uh, this is this is a big meme build right here. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 
You guys go in there, and then you guys come back in this way. It's fine. She's gonna die. It's unfortunate. And we want to get nest of bees out. So these spring odds should do pretty effectively. Alright. Alright, so just make sure that we focus down different ones. Alright, not too bad. Let's get these guys back in, returning to work. Alright, and they have been dispatched of. Now we get the nest of bees out. Alright, these guys are all doing well down here. Uh, one of the things that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get our monastery up. Because we are going to need to get some... Uh, some of those little dudes out. You guys know the ones I'm talking about. The, uh, the priests. The priests. Alright, we might go back and grab that. You can see that we're having a little bit of difficulty just with the gold that we've got. Uh, so we might actually get... Uh, yeah, you can come down here. You do that one. Got 16 idols right now. Holy lord. That is a lot of idols. Oh my, I just saw how much wood we've got right now. God damn. Uh, I think that calls for some siege workshops to get added. Oh, but if we make siege, wor siege workshops here... I just realized we got this guy back here. Alright, I'm going to start pushing on our enemy. Hopefully uh, everybody's doing okay. I'm going for a little bit of a meme build here. Uh, we're up to 93 villagers at the moment, so not too bad. And you can see how quickly we've gone through this. Uh, a little bit too fast, I'd almost say. Oh. oh gosh, that's a lot of units. I'm kind of in a bad spot here. Uh, I'm going to need to drop a castle. Uh, I'm thinking... Hold on, where's my market? Okay. Uh, do we dare drop a castle right here? I'm kind of thinking... Why don't we just, like... Let's just evacuate the dance floor for now. Okay. Alright, let's keep moving. I think we might just add in a couple mills as well. Is that too far? I feel like that... Yeah, it's too close. Alright, there we go. Oh, there they are. I'm wondering where they are. Okay, here we go. Sorry, at this point, I'm 100% just memeing. Cavalry back over this way. So we're going to back out. Alright, so I'm going to drop that castle down. Ideally, I should be going... Yeah, I'm going to go for the bigger one. Let's cancel that. We need to drop this castle on the bigger gold. Alright, so we're going to look for an Imperial Age shortly. Alright, those knights shouldn't be too much of a hassle. Indeed, they're not. Looks like the meme is going well so far. A little bit of a raid back here. Uh, we might actually just go and do this for now. 
Uh, I don't think I should necessarily be too worried about that. Uh, so we're up to 105 villages. I think that's fine. Pretty reasonable. We never, we never did this, so let's fix that up now. Alright, so we're looking for that all-important next age now. So let's take these guys over here. Alright, everyone looks like they're doing relatively well. And we've got all of these that we need. Let's just keep making those guys. And now we're going to look for Imperial after that. And so one of the reasons why China, China is so good with artillery is because of their Imperial upgrade. So they get a unique technology called Pyrotechnics. It's down here. Pyrotechnics increases the range of gunpowder units by 20%. So this is a gunpowder unit right here. Your hand cannon, that's a gunpowder unit. Um, another gunpowder unit is your bombard. Those are all gunpowder units. All right, looks like a bit of a push happening up there. I might, I might come down here, try and do a bit of a distraction. Let's see if we can... Uh, let's see if we can get that, uh, that all-important Imperial upgrade now. Let's go. Uh, we'll go for Spirit Way. Alright, looks like we've got a bit of a keep going up right here. I don't think I'm going to be able to take that down in time. I'm just going to have to back out from now. Alright, not too bad. I think we're doing okay. Uh, we might have to transition into... Uh, I was going to say <laughs> into non-dairy based. I don't know why I was going to say something about dairy based. Into non-dairy based products. <laughs> there must have been something I've heard from somewhere. We're going to transition into non-dairy based products. <laughs> yes, yes we are. Alright, I'm going to sell out all my food. Let's get that all-important pyrotechnics upgrade. We're going to reduce the cost of the nest of bees. We're going to incre increase the range of the springwood over here as well. Let's let's sell out some more wood, I think. All right, there we go. So there's that. We can get... Yeah, let's get that. Let's literally just get all the upgrades right now. We're actually maxed. Let's get one more villager in. Why not? All right, so now let's... Uh, maybe go over here. Now, we're, we're starting to build up uh, a significant amount of... Uh, significant amount of stone, I would say. So maybe let's go take that one after. Alright, so our clock tower is looking pretty good. Uh, you know what? We don't... Let's cancel that, cancel these, and do that. And then, I think we just go bombards? Actually, we need bombards. Shit. Uh, okay, if we need bombards, what do we get rid of? I think we just get rid of these? Okay, I think a bombard is six. Oh lord, I didn't do that right. Fifteen seconds! Oh my god, they're only three? Okay, sign me up! Where do I get six of these bad boys? Alright, so we want to get that one. Uh, actually, let's cancel that there, and then we're going to get this. And then so that's going to give us an extra range on our... Our nest of bees, so that now they have a range of 9.6. You saw it was 8, now it's at 9 tiles, or 9.6 tile range. Might just do a little bit of an upgrade as well. We're getting sieged down. I mean, we, we can go and... Do I dare need to start stonewalling? I, I feel like I might actually need to start stonewalling. Uh, just because if I don't, I'm going to be in a bit of a difficult spot. All right. All right, that's the first one. Where's that other... There was another relic around here, wasn't there? Oh, it must have been taken by one of my allies. 
Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna leave my ally to die. That's okay. I'm not fussed about him. He'll be alright, I'm sure. Oh yeah, that's the relic that I wanted. Alright, so this guy's like my defensive... Um, so th this is what I call the Chinese Exodia strat right here. And the reason why it's called the Chinese Exodia strat is because I don't think you can beat it. Um, and so we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Uh, oh, that's a good point. If he's doing that, I can do that. Uh, where was my... Uh, that's not good. Alright, bring these guys over here. I think we just push straight in right now. Do we go straight for Nikov right in the middle? 2v1, it's GG. 2. Stay in game. No! So we're just going to try and go kill them now. Hopefully my allies don't die. Oh god, it doesn't look good for them. So I've got to try and kill the enemy. We need to go hunt his landmarks. Oh, he's playing as um, the Abbasid. This should be easy. Oh, if he gets that... Oh my god, he got it! Oh, that was huge! We need this bombard to come in. We're going for the sh we're going for the kill right now. All right, I need to put up some uh, some of these guys. All right, that's one landmark down. Second one about to come down right now. Uh, let's put up another keep. Oh, we need to get we need to get our um. I totally forgot. Alright, uh, can we make any more? I don't think we can make any more. Alright, this is gonna take him out of the game. He's only got two landmarks. Here he goes. There he goes, ready? Here it goes. Boom. He's gone. One down. Let's go for the next guy. <laughs> Who's next? Who's next? Bring it on, let's go. Alright, we need to get we need to get some more some more castles up in here. Uh, I think we need to get some uh we need to get all the upgrades as well. <laughs> Liticor's asking, drop? I killed him. Do I have any landmarks back here? I'm just going to go build a landmark back here so I'm safe from getting killed. Alright. That's a landmark. Let's kill that one. We're just... We're landmark hunting right now. Welcome to the big leagues.
All right, who's next? Oh, oh, oh. There was one left. Wait, did he re- Oh, that's a school of cavalry. That's different. I just saw- I saw an arrow come in from over here. There it is. Alright, we need to get- Where is it? Uh, our university. Oh, he's killing my stuff. That's- You know what? That's- That's alright. I don't even mind if he kills my stuff. Uh, university. Where's the univ- There it is. Uh, artillery? Artillery. Artillery? Artillery. Artillery? Artillery? There, is there no artillery buff? Nikov is being eliminated. There he goes. GG gets called. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. You wanted to see it. With 50 idle villagers, we did it. We memed. And we memed a little bit too hard. How did we win this? <laughs> I wish I knew, Lytical. I wish I knew. Uh, that You know what it was? It was that single wall in the base that Adney did. Did you guys see that? That was massive. That was insane. Holy crap. That was ridiculous. All right, let's take a look at the timelines. Village account. You can see we got a nice little boom in. Just a little bit of a boom right there. Not too bad. All right, let's take a look at the military count. Yeah, it was pretty low. But you see in the end just how high Nikov was getting up to like that 80 mark. It was pretty ridiculous. All right, and take a look at the most important stuff. The idle villager average time. Oh, it's going to be terrible for me. Average villager idle time, 33 seconds. That was that was Nikov. Nikov with 33 seconds. I'm sitting at 55. Whew. Damn. All right. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this game. If you have, make sure you leave a like. If you think I missed something, well, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not the best player, but we're getting there. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.